shot. <laughs> wouldn't be shot. Perhaps you know, the town of Melilla is just waking up all of a sudden. It, just getting to the daytime phase. Yes. What time is it? Well, I think we're at three o'clock, but uh, don't trust my body clock. Quality break, but uh, not, things not going Reyes's way here. Keep your eye on the pink four and the orange five. Yuck. That is rotten luck off a break like that, isn't it? Can't possibly now. I would think even... Unless he can see some sort of safety by knocking the four around the back of the five, but he may even be playing safe off of this. Doesn't want to knock the seven really in, but... Oh, uh, he has done, though, and he's left himself an absolute mess. Everyone's applauding because they saw the... Uh, they saw the carom. What they didn't <coughs> see was where that white ball was going. Well, that was uh, a strange shot, really, from Reyes. He must have known that if the blue two reached the other side of the table, it was at every chance it was going to knock it in. So why play the safety at the same time? It... Unless he was, unless he was hoping. Probably, probably a fantastic shot. He, he was a bit unfortunate that it did sneak behind there. He, he broke the two balls apart. He obviously didn't play the safety. He just played to break them apart. It was a, a great effort that just was a bit unlucky. And this is a tough escape. Short rail. Very hard. Got to play this with middle, not topspin. That's a great shot. Oh. Well, the crowd find it funny. I don't think Reyes will. <laughs> Thank you. I think the, the nine ball gods have decided they're going to have a little bit of fun with Efren Reyes this afternoon. Nothing coming easy for him. And the crowd applauds a, a routine safety as if he's just scored uh, the winning goal in the uh, World Cup final. But that one was worthy of applause. It was a lot better than it looked, and um, years of experience went into that escape. I know it doesn't look like it, but a quality strike of the ball. And also, even though that small safety shot was pretty easy, he made sure that he got it very close to the five, made this shot more difficult for Babika. Excellent. Has he got a result? Doesn't look. Oh, has he has it stuck its nose out? The nose is stuck out, but there's no chin to punch. Probably try and play a safety behind the eight ball now, up and down the table. Try and leave that br the four in the middle of the table. Although. bit too much on the four, but he'd be happy with the result. This is where the game becomes, um, I wouldn't say a lottery, but um, the, run of, the run of the ball, the roll of half a ball, if you can see it or not, can make so much difference to the rack. It's where safety and the tactics does come into play, mm. but you can't always guarantee getting a safety perfectly and snook your opponent, and that difference is so critical. bit short of pace yeah, as he left it unless he's snookered him behind the eight which wasn't the plan the plan was behind the six well he's got to consider himself very lucky there yes yeah, it was a nervous shot from the pole <laughs> not too sure playing thin on the far side of the four balls really what he wants to do here and now be considering going off the side cushion first trying to send the four away from the up the table cue ball back down behind the eight but it's it's a tough shot that 
So from a mistake from Babika, a problem for Reyes. Doesn't seem a fair game sometimes, does it? He's not had the run so far, has he, uh, Reyes? There's all sorts of strange things have happened in this match. And we're only here in the second frame. He doesn't he? like this shot much. He's, he's, he's got to be very careful safety-wise here. He's going to leave Babika a, some sort of shot. Well, it's not a bad effort, that is. He's left him. A, obviously, he can pot it into the top left, but... In knocking that five safe, he's pushed the five into a more difficult position. Mm. Another bit of magic that probably went unseen. Yes, because as you say, even if uh, Babitska can take on and make a very difficult pot, that's uh, that's not an easy one. He's got to get that cue ball in position to uh, deposit the five as well. So this would have to be some awesome shot from uh, the pole if he's to stay in control of this rack. And he's not even going to attempt it, and I'm not sure I blame him. A bit risky, but very well played. You would think it would be nigh and impossible for Radislav to outplay Reyes tactically. That's one area of the game that he has completely sewn up, in my opinion. This is the thing that people sometimes forget with Reyes. We, we marvel at his potting and, and the things he can do, but he, as a tactician, he has no equal. But that's not the best tactical shot he's ever played. Just a fraction too hard. He had to make sure he drove the ball to the rail. So, some work to do for Babika to send the cue ball all around the table. Three cushions. The possibility of going in off in the bottom right corner, should he lose control of it. Would like to be short of that. So, not too hard. But hard enough to get past that nine. Is he hard enough? Oh, that was the problem, and he's not. not. Nowhere near. He had a bigger area to work with, but he was just a little bit worried about going into that bottom corner, so he couldn't just give it a big belt. Result, out of position. Another safety and a chance for Reyes. Well, at least he should be able to establish distance between cue ball and object ball here. Whether he can get uh, one of those other balls to help with a block remains to be seen. Not easy to get behind this nine without offering the five into the... So it looks like he's playing something else. Side to side safety, I'm not sure here. No, he played the long bank. Aggressive. Very aggressive. I'd have to say, Steve, that's... That's an uncharacteristic shot from Reyes. That was that was almost hit and hope for the best, wasn't it? Which is not well, his game. Well, if you look at where he put the cue ball, I suppose there was a chance of safety anywhere up the side rail, but it's perhaps he felt that was a, as good a shot as any. But this is cuttable. And an excellent pot. Babika looking solid as a rock in the potting stakes. It's something that when he first came on the scene in the World Pool League, he was a bit wobbly on, was uh, the actual cue action, putting the ball, but seems to be stronger now. A more complete player. I don't know if he's hampered by this nine ball. And this would be a test of his cueing if he was to jack up in the air a little bit. This is, this is not a certainty. I know it looks easy, but it's not certain. easy pot look very simple center ball striking imperative there and he did hit it right in the middle so three cushions once again for the cue ball problems for Reyes yeah, his game's not quite there at the moment he started off slow against Tony Crosby and were it not for a, an outrageous fluke when he potted a nine completely by accident He'd have been a long way behind there and possibly out of the uh, out of the picture altogether. Oh, that's a mistake. 
Well, he overhit it as well, but he didn't have to hit it that hard. I know he's bang on the nine, but he could have been shorter. Less power would have been OK. He would have had a shot at it. Yeah. Yeah, these pockets may be big, but they're not that big, <laughs> especially when you use pace. Early so Christmas present for Ray. Very much so. Something he needed. Remember, it was this was the Reyes break. Babika had a chance to put Reyes in a deep hole, and he's let it slip through his fingers. Can't play that game against this fella. Now, Lothar, so first come the ball.然后一号跟三号都进了啊似乎打个定杆就可以做到好看看有没有办法一颗星解禁四号球碰到了八号球打进这个球之后那么力量稍微大了最后选择怎么样子来做球好
所以也是状态相当的理想。镜头又给了这两位熟悉的观众，<笑>来自荷兰的。This is so exciting. There's probably some cliches to come out with. I can't even think of them. Leave it to me, pal. No, no time for cliches. What a moment, Jimmy, with the, the shot of the tournament. He's got to play safe. I think he's got to play safe, Sid. Get behind that clump of three balls down there. Well, you wouldn't believe it. A legend of the game, boss of the Philippines team, Efren Reyes. Jimmy White, Magic trying, stuff. Jimmy White, trying to get my nickname of interesting. He's played a sensible shot, and I think he may have paid a few dividends here. I thought for a split second that Efren Reyes could play the long bank and perhaps use that five ball down there to to play a double there, but uh, there is the chance, as you can see, the blue two off the side cushion up there. But I think, look at that wobbly line there. But I think, I don't think the shot's on. He's got to hit it fairly hard, and it's going to go in. It made a piece for three. World Pool Championships. Oh, that is an amazing shot! Great shot, but he's close on the three. He cannot believe he's close on the three. That was a tremendous. That that was fantastic. That really shot was a of great a genius. Shot. He played that with Mine's right hand there. side, and there was a reason he did that. Just wish I knew what it was. <laughs> Now. Is he too close? Is this a judgment shot? Could he misjudge this into the middle pocket, or will Efren Reyes use all his experience to just cut it in and stay on the fire? Well, we've seen some awfully tight knuckle shots. It's so easy to hit the point. Decide and rack of the match. Whatever happens, this replace in the last 16. There's the trophy he wants to keep in that tournament. Have to fill that bowl up with champagne. May lose all your prize money in one go. <laughs> well, if, if he wins this, he deserves it. It was a great judgment to knock that ball in. This is tough. Oh, yeah. Middle quality, of the pocket from shot. there, from a quality short quality distance. shot. He, he just didn't panic. He stroked that in. He knew it was a stroke shot. He knew he had to play it. It was with side spin. He just stroked it in. Cool and calm under pressure. One of the legends of the game is three balls away from knocking Jimmy White out. But what a belter! Particularly the orange bank to nine to pull it level at eight apiece. Done nothing wrong with night, Jimmy White, really, from a snooker playing point of view. But even so, from Reyes has managed to get out of jail here. And full credit. To a great master on a nine-ball pool table, a great cueist, and I don't think Jimmy White will be too disappointed. He's come very close Takes to beating the Ethan one Reyes. cushion set up to put paid to Jimmy White's purple patch. But what a match! Particularly how Jimmy got level this for the match. Every raise, a very relieved man to dispose of Jimmy White. Will produce the shot of a genius. The crowd stand. Well, the transplanted Mancunian has got a great chance here. Hello, have we got a dry break? We do indeed, and I think I believe that's the first dry break I've seen first today in the I've matches seen. I've worked. Just as I was about to say, he's got a great chance of really taking a stranglehold on the match. That wing ball hasn't gone. Look at that pink and kicked around all over the place. Nothing down and. Reyes with a clean shot at that one. There's your luck. I'm telling you. But where does he put that one? If he goes for the tough shot going down into the corner, he has a chance of missing. If he goes for the combination on the four, he's got to plot the path of the one, the Q, and the four. And he's missed it 
That's three shots in a row we've seen Reyes miss. Or was he playing for that? No. He took second prize anyway. Yeah, he's uh, left Tony in a tough position. Is that one just poking its nose out? Would that give Crosby a chance just to get the cue ball planted down to the uh, the foot end of the table well, and for the one to get from pushed where, upstairs? From where we sit, it looks like it. But I would think that if he could see the edge, he would do what you say, just clip the edge and mm. go on back up table. Instead, he's looking at kick angles, and I don't think he'd be wanting to kick if he could possibly see the edge. The thing that he'll be weighing up in his mind at the moment is there's a lot of hiding places on that table at the moment. Yes. And he needs to find one right here. Oh, what's he going to get with that? Huh. Didn't need that, did he? No. I don't believe he's got a shot. He's smiling no. about it. Going, ah, oh, the luck of the Irish. Not Irish. No, as you say, no way he's looking for that because he's managed to... Uh, Stun that uh, cue ball right behind the nine. I think he can get a look at it. I think he can get a look at the two enough to get a little bit of a touch on it, but surely not enough to pop the thing. Well, I can tell you, Tony's a good jump shot player. So, and all he's got to do is get over the edge of that uh, nine ball. He doesn't even need a jump cue to do it. He's going to stay with his playing cue. This is a big shot for Tony Crosby. Big shot. Oh, missed it badly. What kind of a roll does he get? None. Nothing. If Reyes can put this one away. Yeah, there's no real problems left on the table now. No, that should be uh, clean up time for the magician. And getting out of a big hole, 5 2 down, would have been a real problem. Well, Reyes with the opportunity to draw within one. I love to watch this man dance around the table. It's funny reading through the uh, biographies of the players here. So many of them from all around the world, every continent you can imagine. Favorite player, Efren, Efren Reyes. Reyes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> over and over again. Who do you want to play like? Efren Reyes. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you're from Vietnam or Venezuela, this man is your inspiration. If you can talk, I mean, if you can uh, play like Evan Reyes and talk like Minnesota Fats, your future is <laughs> <laughs> unlimited. <laughs> They'll just spin around two rails, come across the line of position on the nine ball, and right where he wants to be. Time and again. So Reyes pulls himself back to within one. Just what he needed. Ah, FN's hong show, ah, your show jin, dance yi hao show, ah, yeah. 嘿嘿,运气不大好啊。虽然说冲球有球进,但是一号球却形成了吊球。我们看到Efren冲球的姿势啊。这个,他这个冲球的姿势倒是让我们想到了这个,在这个七八零年代啊,美国的相当著名的一位选手啊。他的冲球姿势也是几乎是这种姿势啊,就是。这个可以说是美国当年的传奇啊 Max Seeger 
，虽然说年纪还很轻啊，但是已经进到了这个撞球名人堂里面了啊。那 Mike Seeger 他的他的头衔也是差不多一百个头衔以上啊。那他的这个打击之冲球的姿势呢，就是保持这种也是一样啊，这个两只脚几乎是不动啊，这种冲球的姿势。对，跟这个 a f r a n 跟 p a s t o r Monday 这两个人的选手的冲击，这个这个冲球的姿势就是天差地别。对。<笑>好，看到这个由于啊，这个吊球，这个 a f r a n push 下来，那当然了，这个球相当的近，所以说这个这个 Lily 当时也会自己来打这一球啊，但是他这个安全球打的并不是很理想。这个可能是想把母球拉到右边来利用这个四号球来吊球啊，但是，但是吊的并不是很理想啊。虽然说没有留下呛死，但是，但是这个球照理讲应该是相当好的一个吊球机会。但是话说回来啊，这个如果说真的吊球了，对 A 份来讲，他可以放手一搏啊，真正的去去解这个球。但是碰到了这个对手是什么都不怕的啊。这留下了这个球，对他来讲反而是个哎，伤了蛮伤脑筋的状况。<笑>心里面上，我相信 Alex l i l y 也想，反正我才出道一年，我输给你没什么。哎，对，无所谓。对，但是 e f r a n 就不一样。对，所以两个人的心理压力不一样啊。好，嘿，利用了三号、四号吊球，应该是吊到了。这个球好像，这个球原本的意思好像是要从这个五号跟六号的中间灌进底带啊，但是毕竟那个缝实在是太小了，万一灌进了，当然了，这个二号球就是呛死啊，这个台面。就可以马上清光了啊！我们看到这台面是相当的简单，所以说现在就是看看一号球啊，哇！结果这个莉莉打了一个跳球，哇！哇，打了一个漂亮的跳球。好，但是现在二号球又是一个难题啊！我们看啊，他这个跳球，跳球啊！但是话说回来了啊，我们在这边啊，这个哇，又是一个背杆的定杆，哇！在这个。这个基本功相当的好啊，但是我们刚刚提到，这话说回来了啊，这个因为我们看到这个这个球台上的一个记号啊，这个他这个台布是用这个西蒙尼斯八六零的球台布啊，这个我想，这个如果说只要稍微具备一点这个撞球基础的人呢、啊，在这种球台布上面要打跳球是轻而易举的事情啊，是相当的简单。而且而且你又是用长杆来跳球啊，所以说在准确度来讲，当然是比短杆跳跳球要准确的多。啊，这个球做的太直了啊！所以我们可以看得到，这莉莉啊，她就基本上来讲，她的母球并不细腻了啊，在当年并不细腻，但是她就是有这个有这个冲劲啊，打球有这个冲劲，什么都不怕。哎，球做的太直了，结果他想要来打一个这个先碰颗星啊，让母球可以滚出来。结果他我们看到他的打点啊，太靠近，离这个六号球太远了啊。如果说稍微再近一点的话，六号球就近了。七号球中带，好 ，F N 可以说是捡回来。九号球打进，这边 J 国开始欢呼了，<笑>那边 A 国就没声音。<笑> F R A S 已经是六比三领先了 Alex 